And welcome back. An update for you now on a story KFEB first brought to you several months ago. Seven year old Trace and Harold of Great Falls was diagnosed with sickle cell disease at just 10 days old. Now he's back in Colorado, continuing his fight and continuing to be an inspiration for others. ABC Fox Montana's Melinda Zosh joins us live in the studio with an update. Melinda. Ben Trayson is recovering from his second bone marrow transplant after complications arose from his first one, and that's one he had last year. But now his family, local high schoolers, and get this, a man from Utah, are bringing attention to how you can help others who so desperately need a marrow transplant and how this could help save their lives. John Philpot of Salt Lake City remembers the day that his doctor sat down with him and delivered a devastating diagnosis. I was diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of leukemia and my doctors put it very simply. They said you can either go through transplant or you can die. So four years ago he started fighting for his life checking out when I had a wife and five young kids was not an option. After four months of chemo and several stem cell treatments, he was ready to receive his donor cells, but there was a problem. I have six siblings and not a single one of them was a match for me. Be the match was my only hope. Be the match is the world's largest registry of voluntary registered marrow donors. And for John Philpot, it was his lifeline. I'm alive today because somebody else gave of themselves in a very selfless way. No words can, ad can adequately express the depth of gratitude I feel. He is now cancer free and says it's all thanks to his donor who had signed up on Be The Match. And now seven year old Trayson Harrell, who's fighting sickle cell disease, has also found his perfect match as well. And now we're just trying to find as many other perfect matches as we can for other patients in the future. So CMR High School HOSA members recently held a bone marrow registration drive to help others like Trayson. A lot of Great Falls people don't know that they could be a donor and don't know about being a bone marrow donor until they hear about a drive and maybe spark some interest. Now if you're interested in signing up to be a bone marrow donor, it's a simple process that takes just a few minutes of your time. The first step is to fill out some paperwork and once you've done that, step number two is to get a cheek swab. This is then sent into a national registry. One in 30 people on the registry receive a call at some point saying, you've come up as a potential match. We'd like you to give a blood sample to see if you're the best match. Only about one in 400 people will actually go on to donate, and John Philpot says surgery is only required 23% of the time, and 77% of the time, the procedure is a simple process similar to donating plasma, with all costs covered by Be The Match. Because we don't ever want somebody to be in a position where they could save a life if only they could afford it. And as for John Philpot, he now works for Be The Match, and about six weeks ago, he finally met the man who saved his life back in 2013 said, if I had the power to save somebody's life who could not save themselves, I knew in my heart that I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't follow through with that. And all I could say was, well, I'm glad you did. <laughs> Now last week, I also registered to be a marrow donor. I received a card just like this one. Anyone who signs up will be on the national Be The Match registry until they're 61 years old. And if you missed last week's drive, there's still a way for you to help. Be The Match can actually mail you a kit where you can do the cheek swab and mail it right back to them. I'll have details up on kfbb.com on another way you can help Trayson as well, and it involves a barbecue. Reporting live in the studio, Melinda Zosh, ABC Fox, Montana News.